Hey guys, and welcome to this tabletop battle video. I'm Martin, and this is Sven. Oh, and this is Sven. <laughs> there it is. And today we're going to be playing 148 Tactics in an unusual way. Yes, sir. We're going to mix it up with the sort of style we used when we film our b b b bolt action videos. Yes. If you like bolt action, you're going to like this one. And if you like 148, you're going to love this one. Because this will also coincide, right? Yeah. Coincide, I'm good at big words. Uh, with the new Kickstarter for 148 Tactic, where you will get access to new cards. Yes, sir. For the US 1st Infantry Division. The Big Red. The Big Red 1! So, we're gonna use a lot of these generics, uh, generic riflemen from the Kickstarter. Yes. And they're gonna face off against the Volksgrenadiers. Uh, of the German starter and the German expansions that have been coming for the previous Kickstarter. Correct. And also one... Uh, Schütze! Yeah, from the tournament prizes. Yes, and he's at four points. Yes, sir. Yeah. And Rolf Krause. Rolf Krause. He's from the... From 148 Combat. MG guy. So it's it's a simulation of a correct, historically correct German squad. Yes, sir. With Versus an, an historically correct... US squad. Yeah. But we have been cheating a little bit. Because there will be a uh, light machine gun, the M1919. Bam, 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 bam. I always do that when I say M1919. Bam, 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 bam. Um, they were not a part of the rifle squad, but they were a support option for the division. So we have one of those guys because he will be in the Kickstarter or that card. So I have uh, I have home. I have him I with, have home. with a corporal to give one extra command so he can shoot, shoot shoot lay down opportunity fire or he can suppress first or you whatever. You guys haven't probably seen the corporal card yet no, because it's not released. And we can't show you the cards. Sorry. We can talk about them but we can't show you everything. Yeah we, we can tell you that the corporal has a command ability of one. And the corporal is the first model that costs eight points. No that was the BAR. That was the BAR. BAR we have a new BAR at eight points. Yep, yep. Fantastic. Uh, anyway, so there are 15 US. It's a 12-man rifle squad. 15 US, and we're using one from the the previous, uh, the, the the paratrooper guy. Yeah, John Kelly, because we had to have an NCO. Yeah. So 12 guys uh, is the rifle squad, and then you have a three-man detachment, which is the light machine gun uh, team. So 15 Americans versus 10 Germans. 15 Americans, and only one of them is a... Um, Previously, uh, yes, it's a it's a previously released, released card. card. Yes, only because it wasn't finished for us to use. We don't have uh, the actual card. We only have uh, mock box. Yeah, that's uh, why we can't show them in detail. Yeah, so this is just for us to be able to play this game and show you how you can expand your games of uh, 148 tactic with more troops. And, and because we want to play on the big table. We want to have 4x6 because there's no there's no range limit in 148 Tactic. It's fantastic because it's like... Okay, I got one guy here and he's like 12 inches away and... No, I can't hit him because it's outside of range of my submachine gun. Yeah. 13 inches, not 12. Um, anyway, we hope you will enjoy this 4x6 table of Somewhere in the Ardennes. Yep, yep. Where the US first... Infantry Division will assault a fortified German position. Yes, sir. You'll be the Germans. Yes, I will. I'll You'll be the, the US. Americans. The objectives are very simple. Very simple. There are three strategic points for the Germans to hold. If the Americans manage to capture two of them by having infantry models inside of that fortified position without there being Germans there, you win the game if I, if I can't drive you out on my following turn. Yes. So you need to take and hold two out of three positions. Yes. But we'll try to do this sportsman-like. Yeah, and cinematic. We uh, want to have a yeah. cinematic experience. Yeah. Because some people have described 148 Tactic as like playing a video game. It's so... There's so much going on. There, you can do all these things. Throw grenades, suppression, opportunity fire, wounded soldiers. You move wounded soldiers to take your place. Yeah. Uh, you can even pick up their equipment yes. and use it. Yeah, about that. Uh, we have given all the Americans in the two rifle squads, well, not, 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 not the rifle squad, but the two <laughs> fire teams yeah. that are part of the rifle squad, will have uh, bayonets. So that's, uh, that's uh, maybe the submachine guy doesn't. So four 
rifles with the bayonets and four rifles with bayonets. Yep, and only three of the Germans will have bayonets. Yes. The light machine gun and the assault rifles. Yes. So we will see. Maybe somebody can kill something with Maybe a bayonet, Otto pick it up, and pick it up, and <laughs> yeah, because that's one of the cool things. You can pick up uh, a grenade that's dropped by a dead guy or a bayonet. Oh, even and we have a lot of grenades today. Yes. Everybody has a grenade. I have ten frag grenades. You have like um, seven blast grenades and a couple of smoke grenades. Yeah. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go. Wah! Yeah. Um, have we talked enough now? Oh, we have talked plenty. Yeah. Uh, and also there will be weapon upgrade cards, so you can yes, just also pick up weapons, but we don't play with them now. We'll play with the weapons as they are on the card. We have deployed, we will show you the table, and the Americas will start. How many action tokens did we agree on? Uh, for games with more than five figures, mm -hmm. aka six or more, uh, Claudio, the creator of the game, recommends six action tokens. So it's only one more, and it doesn't sound much, but you need to remember that if I only spend two one turn, then I will have ten the next turn. Yep. yep. So we have made a, a little homebrew rule yep. that you have to spend two tokens each turn instead of the normal one. Yeah. Just you, to you, you need to spend tokens so that you only have four left. Yeah. At least. Yes. Yeah. For for banking for the next turn. Yeah. Which will you know create some situations for the Germans because they are in a stationary position so he doesn't have to do much so he can bank a lot of tokens which will be very hard for the US when they start rushing in but that is what we're trying to simulate here it's a an assault on the fortified position yeah. the Germans have cleared one area where the light machine gun is covering the area while the rest is covered by the rifle squad or the rifle team in the squad yeah okay so Good luck. Let's get on with the action. Good luck, man. Good luck, man. 148 tactic. Bolt action. Big scale. Big scale. Big scale. Big scale. Right. So this this is the, the somewhere outside the Ardennes forest. And this would this would pretty much be a, a you know sort of a four by six bolt action table we would use. Yes, it would. Maybe a little bit more cover on this, but that is of course we are on a man to man basis. Yeah. These are the three German positions. Uh, covering the southern southernmost uh, position is Otto Hessler, Wolfgang Schmidt, Christian Krüger, and Ludwig Gaia. Gaia. They are sort of the assault team. Everyone has move and fire, and they have all of them have blast grenades. So if they get the opportunity, they can bring the fight to the enemy. Yes, they can. Because which, was, which the Germans often did. And remember, this is your game. No, not your, not your game, but it's you who play. Yeah. You decide how you want to play it. Of course. I have my command section in the middle, Eric Koenig, my NCO, and Rupert Schneider, the dedicated sniper. Yeah, cool. Uh, they have a, a blast grenade and smoke grenade. Mm -hmm. And on the northern flank, we have Dietrich Meyer and Mr. Schutze, uh, the, the two riflemen, uh, giving supportive fire for the uh, machine gunner Rolf Krause and his loader Mr. Helmut Götz. Uh, they have one smoke grenade and a bunch of blast grenades. Bunch of blast grenades! And the Americans are coming from the west. So let's take a look at some Americans. Uh, you will see uh, a couple of bolt action miniatures inside here. And just to emphasize that, as long as there is a 25mm yeah, base, the base that counts. You can if, use if whatever. This tall or this tall, it doesn't really matter. No, because people aren't the same height. They're not. So, uh, we got a uh, generic submachine gunner on the left. We have then four riflemen following. So this is kind of the uh, Lance Corporal or something. He's yeah. in command of the rifle team. Maybe. So they are going to advance up this. This is of course going to be, uh, you know, they're going to be gunned down probably. But, you know, uh, they didn't know what faced this, them. These uh, pot holes things, they're difficult uh, terrain but not cover. Yes. But these donut the covers, donut covers are, are covered. Cover. And the yeah. burning tree or whatever it is. It's, it's uh, smoke line of sight. Blocks line of sight. Yeah. Moving on, we have my command section over here. Yes, sir, you do. We have a rifle squad and a rifle squad. Uh, you have John Kelly, the yep. NCO. A rifleman with... Uh, no, it's a BAR gunner over here yep. with John Kelly. Yes. So they're holding the middle. Moving on, we have my light machine gun team. Light yes, machine sir. gun in the middle. Corporal on your left. Corporal on my left. Rifleman on your right. Rifleman on my right. So they're kind of, you know, loader and 
ammo carriers. Yeah. Then I got my second assault squad. We got the same uh, submachine gun guy on the left, and then four riflemen. Yes, all of sir. the all of the riflemen have uh, frag grenades. Yep. And the uh, squad submachine gun guy have all smoke grenade. Yeah. And we also said that bayonets were going to be on all the rifle guys yep. on both flanks, in case they get into some hand to hand. And on your corporal, because everyone who has a rifle has a bayonet. Okay, so my corporal as well. Yeah, everyone with a rifle. Okay, I don't think he will see much action, but we know. We don't know. <laughs> oh, he'll see much action, but he won't be near it. Yeah, you know, that, <laughs> that's what officers do best, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to start? I will start because I have uh, I have entered your lines. Yes, sir. And you have taken, taken me by, by surprise. surprise. 148 tactic meets 4x6 table. And Ooh. lots of models. Round one. Round one. Fight. Fight. Okay, first off, with my six action tokens, <laughs> I'm going to begin with my light machine gun, and he's going to put down suppressive fire at your... Come on, team. Can you please position that such in a way that you can't move? He only okay. has a two-inch suppression. But where is your dude? Because you need line of uh, sight, and yeah, you, yeah, you can place it in the middle. Yeah, no and, problem. And Just you'll place get it so both I cover of them. both. Yep. Uh, it's only two-inch suppression on that. But remember, there will be a card called extra ammo, allowing you to expand that to three inches or plus one. Yeah. So that's him. Now yep. they can't shoot, so uh, the sniper is very dangerous, you know this. I will begin with my uh, submachine gun. I don't know what I'm going to call uh, it. Lance Corporal, did you agree on that? Uh, I think the British term is Lance Corporal. Okay, so he's a submachine gun guy. Yeah, the he submachine has, gun guy. He has a 3 inch move, but he also has a 3 inch move and shoot. Can you call him Derek Steele? Yes, I can. Daring do. <laughs> I think he is going to go... He will go through the gate. Through the gate? The gates of Narnia. He has a move of three. He yes. also has a move and fire of three. Yes. So I will try to utilize that by you giving... Utilize one, one shot, but is there anything at all I can see here? I think you have this guy. No, you don't. I don't? No. What about the... One, two, in cover, no. Okay, so he will stay there. Didn't help. Then my... Or remember, you have unlimited range. Oh, wait. Maybe I can shoot this way. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe you can do something. No. No, because... Uh, One, two, in, in cover. cover. You're yeah. in cover. That's the problem. Okay, but it's fine. There's a lot of cover, and that's how it should be on the battlefield, because there isn't, like, totally flat. It's sloping, and there's bushes, yeah. and there's everything. So he has moved up one, trying to get my guys forward. I can see that this guy yep, yep. has a uh, clear line of sight down at your guy over there. Yes, sir. I'm he, he in cover and taking cover. Yeah, he has a special rule. Yeah, it doesn't apply, though, because I have the in cover token. Yeah. But this is uh, Wolfgang Schmidt with the camouflage or special rule. It gives him this one for free. So whenever you lose your in cover token, you yep. would still be in cover. Yep, yep. But I'm going to spend two tokens on him because I think that's a tempting target. Okay, cool. I have a long range of one shot and aiming for two. Okay, so you got three dice needing a six to hit. That is true. Can we score the first kill of the game? <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. That's a... You know, it's 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 just a private rifleman, first class. Uh, yes, sir. No one special. But let's see if he can be special. And it's a six. If you combine these threes, no, there's a six behind there. Woo -hoo! So he's and wounded. We have a wounded German. Yes, sir. Nice. Good job, private first class. The squad leader Ooh. yells at him. Woo! Then I'm gonna spend another token on this guy. He has a three-inch move. So he's gonna move one over there and two. Yeah, why not just move him here so he doesn't block the line of sight of this guy? Yeah, cool. Can't do anything more with these because we have limited action tokens, which is one of the very cool parts of the game. You it actually is have that. To do some economics. Then I have put down a token because you always plan between turns, right? So I put down a token on this guy and he has the BAR. Yeah. So he's gonna do a two inch move and shoot. Move and shoot, sir. Move and shoot, sir. Well, yes. Who will you shoot, sir? 
I think I can trace a pretty clear line at your uh, light machine gun. Yes, you can. So that's I'll... two dice at long range. Two dice at long range, and he's needing a five and a six because you're in cover and behind cover. That's correct. Pretty easy. Let's see if we can do your light machine gun. And we what? can. He is wounded. So their Germans are really taken by surprise by the advancing Americans. Yes, but now they are. the Americans have expended their stamina. So we will pass the turn to the Germans. Yeah. And next turn we will see some more flanking maneuvers. Okay. So I'm ready. I can see tokens. Mr. Christian Krüger. Nice. Will lose his cover status. Okay, cool. Because he's doing a fire action. Yeah, because what else would they do? They would, of course, they will fire back. Try to protect themselves. The oppressors. <laughs> <laughs> they will protect themselves behind cover and uh, try to take out some enemies. What so, can you see? Uh, I'm gonna fire upon that guy. Okay. In so in as front you of the gate. The gate. So as you understand, uh, we do not um, count the trees as blocking on sight. No, they give cover. They give cover. Uh, I think it, there's only smoke and a couple of the high... Yeah, big, big, big walls. Big, yeah, that yeah. block line side, that's true. Okay, so you are shooting with an aim. I'm shooting with an aim. And your target is this guy over here. Yes, sir, the rifleman that daringly wounded Wolfgang Schmidt. No, that was him. Oh, scheiße. You want to shoot at him no, or him? I want to shoot at him. The him? first one, yeah. Because I'm gonna... I'm gonna Make your friend suffer. Yeah, because you shoot at him because he only has one cover. Yeah. He would have two. That's correct. So you would hit him on fives? That's correct. Do I have any tokens Do you left? want to take cover? I don't have any tokens. Oh, no. no. So do you need fives? Yes, I do. Oh, come on, man. Whabam! No, it's that's a six. six. So you wound him. <laughs> we roll so many sixes. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. So I will flip his card. Yes, you will. And he is now wounded and have to pass his next turn. That's correct. I've also put some tokens down over here. Okay, let's see. Mr. Helmut Götzja. <laughs> Is that his name? Helmut Götzja. Götzja. Götze. No, he's only named Götz. Ah, Helmut Götz. But he will fire oh. upon your BAR gun. Oh, no. Do I have a... Do I have... A clear line of sight. Yes, I do. Oh, no. I didn't think about that. <laughs> didn't think about the loader? No, but think about this. You are in a combat situation, yeah. you see a target, I need to take out that target. Yeah. And of course and you all don't... all of a sudden a guy pops up from the ammo crate exactly. beside him and... <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Wait a minute! So that's actually a clear shot. That's a clear shot. Hitting on force. I'm gonna aim that shot. And you know, the difficult thing, how you get better or worse at shooting, it's how many dice you roll, not how... Yeah. You know, it's also, if you have cover, it's harder to hit, but also the, yeah. the, the amount of dice. You always start at 4+. plus. And it's one worse for each part of cover, but you just add on dice. If you're good at shooting. Yeah. Is he good at shooting? No. He's this good at shooting. One die. But he is this good at aiming. So he has a good rifle. So he's got three dice. He has maintained his rifle well. So let's see if my BER guy can be the casualty of your guts. Come on, headshot! No, no headshot, it but it's a five. It a five. Barely wounded. So he is... <laughs> Seriously injured. We are uh, we are seeing some uh, casualties on both sides already. Yes, we are. Okay. <clears throat> and I was thinking about laying down some um, Opportunity? opportunities, but I also have this over here. You see? Do you have a? Have you figured out a line of sight? I have. Oh, look at that! Can you, can you see that guy? That guy has only one cover. Yeah. I like how you are able to spot these things across the <laughs> battlefield. <laughs> I, mean, I saw it now. <laughs> I was planning on saving two tokens and I stood here and I went, wait a minute! Wait a minute! <laughs> but then again, there's always, you know, there's always this pot. And this is also some, something we try to simulate in this game that you actually give crossfire. Yes, you do. You support each other's flanks. We hear something shooting over there, we take out the BAR, and we try to take out the guy in, uh, behind the fence. So you want to shoot at him? Yeah. Because uh, Mr. Dietrich Meyer! It's actually the same if you want to shoot at him or him, because he's now in wound shock and counts as in cover. I want to wound as many Jerry's as possible. Why well, would Jer you? Jerry's. Aren't we the Jerry's? You're the Jerry's. We are the GI's. The GI Jerry's. Yes. <laughs> so how many dice will he have? 
With an aim to, with an aim action, he's got three dice. Three dice hitting on fives this time because of one cover. Yes, sir. Come on. Blow Bam! It. No! <laughs> well, some soldiers weren't that good of a shot. <laughs> as you just proved. And that concludes round one. So you want to save two? No, I saved nothing. You spent all? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, because you only got six. Yeah. Cool, then we're even okay. still. German, turn two. No, you are not playing the German, you are playing the... I'm so used to playing German. US turn two! Yes! I have a suppression on you, you haven't moved away. That's correct, I had, hadn't the tokens for it. So, <laughs> since I have only one weapon firing at that spot, I can roll 1d6 on yes, a sir. 6. Regardless of how much cover there is, yeah. as long as there is line of sight to the target, I can roll a 6. And something gets hit. Yes, and it's to simulate a ricochet or you know a lucky shot or whatever. So yeah. I'm rolling for the suppression. It will not go away. It will just stay, and I will roll to see if I roll a six on, on the, the floor, table, please. Come on! No, it's oh, so totally opposite. Okay, uh, it was a six. It was a one. It was a one. Okay, then uh, <laughs> I think justice served. Uh, I have uh, six tokens, which I've put on this flank this time. Okay, you're not spreading them out like I did? No, why should I? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do some opportunity fire. Oh no. So these guys, okay. the guy with the submachine gun, yep, yep. he's gonna lay down an opportunity fire on these guys here. Okay, cool. These, these guys, this guy mm -hmm. is gonna lay down an opportunity fire between, between these, guys. these guys. So you're covering the whole team. Yep, I, I kind of with saw two that with two tokens, yeah. So two actions covering four guys. And that's, you know, it's tactics. But I saw that these guys were a problem yeah. on that side. Yep. So I need to do something about it. What I also will do is to move these guys over here. They will start advancing. Yes, they will. So to move over an obstacle, which is classed as a um, shelter or concealing a cover like this, it's two tokens. So I will spend two tokens on this guy, and he has a move of three. So you can move your normal amount of inches, which is three, but it costs two action tokens to do it, and also two actions. Okay. So he will move up three over here. Oh, yep, yep. And then I will spend two on this guy. He has a move of four, so he can move one over here. And then I'm going to run a seven. Oh, no, a seven? Yeah, because he has eight. I do a double move. So one uh, inch out and yeah, seven okay. up. okay. Let's try and see if I can. I, I am in a bad spot, but then again, I do have opportunity fire there. So if you want to try and risk shooting at him, I can do something about it. And these guys are suppressed. They can't shoot. And hopefully I will have enough cover from the guys over there. Yeah, probably Man, you will. I love this. This is so cool. We can play on two sides of the table using tactics and having cover protectors. Yeah, because this side over here is almost like a separate battle. But so this, because of the crossfire, everyone, ev every everyone model is involved. And no range. The only like range it. thing is 10 inches. Then you're at short range and gain extra dice. Okay, so now you're at the end of your turn. I've spent, You've spent all your all six tokens. tokens. And what happens at the end of your turn, man? Well, the guys that were in wound shock. Yeah. They are, because they passed this turn, yep, yep. they're no longer in wound shock. That's correct. And here's uh, a, uh, a thing. Um, we're gonna play. By I the... forgot to do that on the end of my turn. <laughs> oh. So I'm just yeah. removing these thingies. Yeah, because they they are now back in action. Yeah. You in the rulebook it says you remove it at the end of the turn, but they gain the benefit of a free in cover action. Yeah. When they're wounded. Yep. yep. Um, so they will still have that. So they are they are in cover. They are still in cover. We yeah. we need to uh, we need to do as written in the rules. Yeah, and it says you get a free in cover action. So here we go, two in cover tokens. Because you know when they fall down, they uh, they take cover. They take cover. Of they course, do. of course. Okay. So over to you. Hi guys, it's me, Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Helmet guts. He's gonna fire upon the runner. This guy? I know he's your bait, but I'm taking it. One token. 
You will hit on a four since it's in the open. Yes, sir. Should I gamble on that? You have been rolling pretty you badly. Want cover? I don't have any tokens. But I do have an opportunity fire on you. Yes, you do. But I think I. Oh, wait. It's an opportunity fire. I can't wait by yeah. that. You want to take it? I have to take it now. Because if you decide to aim that shot, he's definitely dead. You know what? I'll just have to take that uh, opportunity fire because I can't risk you getting to kill that guy. Okay. So my submachine gunner yeah. has one shot at long range. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Shooting at your helmet guts. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hitting on a five. Because, because I have one piece of cover. One piece of cover. Come on. Five. Woo! Oh no. So opportunity fire is spent. Yes, sir. I'm aiming that shot. Three dice. Yes, sir. Killing on fours. Killing on four. Wha bam! That's five, five, and four. So he is wounded. He's in wound shock. He's in wound shock. Yes, Turning sir. the card over. Then the guys over here are yelling, uh, Hilfe, Hilfe, Rolf Krause, Hilfe. That means help, help, Rolf Krause, help. Which is your light machine gun guy. Yeah, so I'm gonna lay down some uh, suppressive fire of my own. Okay. And I'm gonna need some tokens for that, I think. Yeah, they are over there. On the uh, token edge. <laughs> huh? You got that? Huh? So he's laying down some suppressive fire on your suppressing fire guys. Yeah, and you can do that. Do that because you have a line of sight. <laughs> and that means these guys can't shoot. Uh, correcto mundo. Does the suppression then disappear? I. Uh, because you can't keep firing the suppressive fire. You know what? We'll check that. And. It clearly states that if you get suppressed, you lose the suppression. So I will actually have to remove my... Uh... Uh, not the red one, please. No, I take mine. Not okay. yours? I'll remove yours. <laughs> okay, cool. Right. Then. 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 I'm going to lay down some opportunity fire, I opportunity think. Opportunity fire. Now you're getting ready to face the attackers. You just need to kill your guy first. My guy? Which guy? Your soldier. Mr. Wolfgang Schmidt. The one that's wounded? Yes, sir. He's gonna lose his in-cover status. St status. He's gonna spend one action token to fire. Well, he didn't actually have in-cover because he was he wound shocked. He had before he was wounded. Yeah, but it goes away when you're wounded. You, okay, cool. you lose, uh, you lose uh, any action you, or opportunity to fire anything you have. When you get wounded, it uh, uh, is lost. Clear on the side. Hitting on a four, I don't have any tokens. You have wounded that guy from before, have you yes, not? Yes, sir. So you will actually kill him. How many dice will you spend? Uh, one dice. So you're only using one token? Yep. Come on, three. One, two, three. No, it's a six. It's, you it's kill a my guy. Limited edition, 148 uh, tabletop battle dice. It's a hybrid dice. Yes, sir. So you kill this guy. First blood, isn't it? Do we have something called first blood? Yes, I think I receive a prize for this. Okay. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do with your five Mr. remaining? Mr. Chris? Uh, Christian Krueger. You know what? No, not Chris. I might as well just lay down some opportunity fire with Wolfgang Schmidt. Yeah, why not? Because that will force me to circumvent that. Yeah. I'm going to lay down some opportunity fire with Wolfgang. The same guy that shot? Yep, yep. Okay. I think I'm gonna place it around here. I'll. Uh, God bless me. I'll bend over and uh, do the fiddle a bit. Okay, so somewhere around here. Somewhere around there. And it's by this guy over here. Yes, sir. And he has the camouflage, so it's always good to use him for such things. Mm -hmm. I could do a long shot with. Ooh, I'm losing some grenades here. I could do a long shot with Mr. Dietrich Meyer. At uh, whom? Uh, can you see the guy behind the fence over there? Yeah. But then I would be uh, subject to another opportunity fire thing. Yes, that is true because I have opportunity fire over there. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna... But I don't have any tokens to aim with, so it's only one shot. Yeah, so the safest point to do it is actually now. It before is. Before you get those tokens stacked up. Because if, I, if that opportunity fire stays there and I get another token available next turn, I can use it that to more aim. dangerous. But I'm going to save my last token, actually. Okay. Then it's over to me. Yes, sir. US, turn three. I got it right this time, right? 
Okay, so first of all, I'm going to spend one on my private first class submachine gunner. Okay. If I can find my mushroom tip. And he has a move and shoot of three inches. Yes, he has. So I think actually I'm going to shoot now before I move. Okay. Uh, so he has one shot at long range and he's going to go for this guy. Okay, Mr. Helmet Guts. Do you want to take cover? No. Because you have a token. I have a token. You can't take cover. Take your shot. Okay, so five. Yeah. Come on, let's eat Martin's guy alive. No, it's a four. At least you keep him alive. <laughs> <laughs> Three inches. Yes, I'm going to move here. Yes, sir. He is maintaining his opportunity fire. Okay, cool. Uh, this guy over here is going to get two tokens and he has a move of three, so he's going to move six inches. Yes sir. He's going to move into some... Um, over halfway to the pothole cover. Yes, and he's trying to stay behind some yeah. smoke. Uh, this guy has to pass my turn since you wounded him in your turn. Yes sir. Oh, but I do have my uh, BAR guy. Yes sir. He has an aim of one and two shots at long range, so he will actually get two... Uh, tokens to shoot at your machine gunner again. Yes, sir. And this is kind of he is now laying down. He's not suppressive fire, but he's doing that job. Yeah, sort of. So with three dice, he's going to shoot at your machine gunner way over there. With his way BAR. over here. And I need a five to hit you. Yes, sir. Because I have one piece of cover. Yes, sir. Do you want to take cover? Do you want to spend your cover? Uh, yes, I will. Not your cover, you want to spend your token. That's what I'm spending my token on. Good. I'm taking cover. Because I wanted you to spend that. Then, I'm ready to fire, but now we'll hit on a six. Yep, yep. Since he has seen the danger, and that also means that... The suppression is gone. Correct. Very good. I'm glad you're playing into my thing. Uh, whenever you do another right. action, yep. then what you're doing, you lose the previous one. So these guys are not suppressed, but they started the round suppressed, so they are not allowed to shoot. That's correct. But it stops you from rolling that die against them next yeah. turn. Yes, it does. Okay, so hitting L6, your light machine gunner. A bit. No! It wouldn't even be a five! But a five would be risky. I'm horrible. So you have one more token. Yes, and you spent your thing. Yes, I did. I think because of that, I'm gonna actually be brave and move my uh, submachine gunner. I need to get my guys forward because I have an objective. All right, I'm gonna do that shot. You're gonna take the opportunity shot, but yeah. you only have one die. I only have one die, but it's a four plus. It's a four plus. Can you fail it? I realized after I passed the turn that I actually had a clear line of sight on him. But you know, that's how it is in the battlefield. You don't see it until you see it. <laughs> yes, sir. Come so on, one, four two, three. Up. One, two, three. No! I don't think they save. <laughs> okay. So he's wounded. He's wounded as well. No. And you spent the token. Yes. And he goes into wound shock. No. Yes. Horrible, horrible person. No. At the end of my turn, yes, sir? I remove this one. Yes, you do. It's over to you. <laughs> okay. Um, turn three. Your turn three, yeah. US turn three. <laughs> German move the uh, turn three. Things are moving fast in this game. Yeah. Uh, I, I have managed to free up my sniper, Mr. <clears throat> Rupert Schneider. Yeah. Uh, he will lose his in cover status as he is taking a fire action. An aimed shot, I yes, see. Yes, sir. An aimed shot against Mr. Uh, G.I. Richard. G.I. in the open. G.I. in the open. This guy? G.I.E.I.O. Okay, so how many dice does he have at long range? Uh, two dice and an aim of three. So five dice. Yes, sir. And you need what to hit? Uh, four. Oh no, I don't have any tokens. We are spending too much tokens. Too many. Weapon! One, two, three. Oh, two sixes. That's a headshot. <laughs> Rupert Schneider, he's a beast. Oh yes, he is. So he now becomes cover. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he actually does, though. He yeah, becomes he covered. Uh, and he also has a grenade. Yeah, just place it next to his corpse. His corpse? Corpus? So, if you're within one inch, you can pick that up 
costing one action. Yes, sir. But if you're in base base contact, you can hand it off for free, or is it within one? No, inch within one. Free? But the the other person has to be alive. Okay. C can you carry more more than one grenade? Yeah, yeah. as many okay. as you want. So, Mr. Rolf Kraus. Rolf Kraus. He's gonna give his grenade to Mr. Helmut Guts. Okay. And he's gonna lay down some uh, suppressive fire. Okay, so your light machine gun is... Oh, look at that! Suppressive fire over here, so my opportunity fire will no longer work. I can That's still correct. retain it, though. Yes, sir, you can still keep it. But I so can't shoot. when the suppression ends, you can go up and shoot. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Helmut. Yes. <laughs> is uh, then ready to lay down an aimed shot. I can see he has two tokens, yes? Yes, he does. He's gonna shoot that way. Okay, at this guy. No, further away, this guy. Yes, sir. The BAR guy. The Dangaroos guy with the BAR. Okay, so two shots. No, three, three dice. Two, two, two tokens. Three dice. Yes, sir. Hitting on fours. Shot. I don't have any tokens. I can't take cover. That's correct. And that's a kill. Five, five. He was wounded, which means he takes the second hit and he can no longer sustain. His life. <laughs> That's very dramatical. Very dramatic. Mr. Dietrich Meyer. He also has a grenade, though. He also has a grenade. That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, gets one action token. Yes. Uh, he's just going to do a pot shot. Pot shot at whom? Uh, that depends on who moves first. Oh, opportunity fire! Because who moves dies. Ah, so now you wanna, uh, you're gonna, okay, so because of the suppression stops me no, no, from shooting. No, you know, well, I'm just gonna shoot this guy. You're gonna shoot? Yeah. Suppression stops me from shooting. If I wanna get in a position where I can shoot, I need to move away from the suppression fire. And then if you have an opportunity fire, you could just shoot at me, but... I'm, I'm gonna be sportsmanlike and just shoot the guy with the mohawk. That's sportsmanlike. Yeah. And you're hitting on the floor since he's in the open. Yeah. It, I think these guys in this uh, fire team is very displeased with the route they were given by their NCO. Whabam! Oh it's a no! Miss. It's a miss! Should have gone for this opportunity fire. But I still can't shoot with these guys, so they have to move if they want to be useful. That's correct. Over to you, US. Take five. US <laughs> turn four. <laughs> okay, so let's start with the suppression. Because okay. we have a uh, light machine gun standing in the rear, protecting our troops. So they will take a suppression and put it back on your HQ after this little connection we had going where we couldn't suppress. That's one token, I got five left. Yes, this sir. guy is going to be my hero of the Ardennes. He's a private first class. Yes, sir. yes he is. He's going to move three inches first. Mm -hmm. And when he gets here, so that's one token. As he gets here, he will use one token to take a shot at your light machine gun guy. Yes, he will. And this is a pretty decent clear shot. I will hit you on A5 because of one cover. That's correct. Do you wanna... I don't have any tokens. You don't have any tokens. Great. So now I have the option. Should I aim it? You wanna aim it and be out in the open? I still have a couple of tokens, but I do wanna get these guys uh, moving. If I don't get him, they will still be suppressed. You know what? I'll aim it. Mm -hmm. I'll spend... No, wait. He has a limit of three. He's wounded. Yeah, so I he know. can only move, shoot... And move, move, shoot and aim. No, I don't want to leave him in the... I want to have him... Because that cover. was what I said. Do you want to aim it and be out in the open? Exactly. And now I understood what you meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, he has moved three inches up to here. Yeah, yeah. He's going to spend one to shoot. Yes, yes. Hitting on a five. That's correct. Come on, baby. That's no! Should have aimed. Then you could have gotten the white dice in, in, in addition. And rolled a five like that. Then he's moving. Studio magic. Then he's moving <laughs> into cover. Yes, he is. With his last. So he spent three. He's on limit. He can't take cover. Nice. That's but good to know. Didn't manage to get your suppression gone. No, so you cannot fire. <sighs> but I still have to move these guys. You know what? Do you, I, do you have to move them though? I don't, but then you will get that six. And of course, my mission is to get up there. Oh, yes, it is. So I will do. I can't do a move and shoot. No, you okay. cannot. So you know what? I'm gonna spend two on my submachine gun guy. He's okay. gonna move six because I need to. I need to get as much distance between us as possible. Yes, you do. So that you can't suppress both of us. But I think you can still do that because you have a three-inch suppression. Two-inch. I'm wounded. Oh, you're wounded. So it's only two inches. I don't have the extra ammo. 
Okay, cool. So he moves over there with his two tokens, and I'm done. Well, that's a whole turn. That's pretty fast. Couple of wow. minutes, and we're done. Wow, can you just... Then we can do a seamless transition. Yeah, think. like we used to do. <laughs> yeah, that's a bolt action trick. I'm just gathering up my four su my suppression tokens. And action tokens. Action tokens. So I, I have six. You have six of them. I'm going to roll my uh, suppression dice. Yeah, because there's one guy still in there. Wham! That's a miss. That's a one. Okay, so that's your suppression thing gone. I'm going to use one token to move my suppression. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because now you're getting clever, aren't you? Or are you? Or uh, you know, I'm not going to move yet. No. I'm going to fire first with Dietrich Maya. Ah, you want to see what happens? No, no, I, want, I want, just want to kill the SMG guy. Okay. With Dietrich Maya. With an aim? Yeah, yeah. So you now have spent two tokens shooting an aim in, hitting on four since it's in the open. Very little cover on this crack, side. Crack, crack, pow! That's a double six. Oh, you roll a headshot again and he goes down. These riflemen, the German riflemen, they with are three very dice. Very good. Costing four and five points. Very they are good. The winners of today's game. They are. Oh, are you saying you're gonna win? Oh, I've already won. You just haven't realized yet. Shit. Now I'm gonna move my uh, suppressive fire all the way over. There! So you're gonna suppress me again? Yes, removing your suppression and placing one action token on Mr. Rupert Schneider. Yeah, because you can't shoot in your turn since you started suppress, but no, you can still correct. lay down an opportunity fire. Yeah. At these guys? Yeah. Okay, so. It's gonna be two pieces of cover, but it has five, five dice. And the way I'm, I've been rolling sixes today, I think I'm gonna take that shot. And I'm going to save two tokens. Oh, he's actually saving two tokens. Two tokens. Now he's feeling confident. Over to me. Let's see if we can oh, do something about that. US turn five. Oh. So we are five turns in. We have advanced up to roughly half the table on this side. But yep. this side is the killing field. Yes, it is. The Germans have uh, cut down trees or the Allies have bombed them. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> At least. Probably the British. Probably rich. Blame it on rich. Uh, this guy is not going to uh, risk moving anymore, but he will lay down a, an opportunity fire. Okay, cool. And he will do that on your light machine gun guy yeah. and the other guy. I will hit them on a six because of this cover. I think probably, yeah, yeah, a six. Yeah, yeah. So one cover, two cover. Yep, yep. If they want to try something, they want to try something. But not yet. Not yet. Then. That's one token spent there, then I got yep, five yep. tokens. Let's try to work this flank. Okay, you're not gonna save anything for an aim? No, I can't afford it. This guy is gonna move his two inches of move and shoot. Okay, cool, there you go. And I think I can uh, manage to go. Oh, <laughs> I think I can manage to get a shot off at Mr. Krieger. Mr. Christian Krieger. Who is? Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's a perfect line of sight through the trees. Ooh, focus. And there he is. Yes, but of course that means you will have the same back at me. Uh, yes, I will. Which is always a problem. But right, I will right brave back this. at you. But now I'll hit on a five. Do you want to spend uh, your token? You know, the way you've been rolling, I'm going to save that token. <laughs> you say that I won't roll sixes? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yeah. six, I need a five to hit. You need a five. You need a five because you got one cover. Come on. Yeah! Oh! There it is. Christian oh, Kruger. No. Christian Kruger. Oh, that, my gambling didn't pay off. Didn't pay off. And now I will spend the two so tokens. He is wounded. On my runners. Has this guy blast has blast grenade at least. These guys have a four inch move. Yes, so they they're do. gonna spend two tokens each. Oh no! And they're gonna yeah, get. Yeah, because now you've ruined my opportunity to lay down some fire with my guys that can aim. So now it's safe for you to cross that fence. Yeah. Well, you still have your. Safe uh, You still have your guy with camouflage. He can still. Yeah, aim. but he only has two dice yeah. with it, uh, when he aims because he's wounded. So my runners have run up oh. four inches, spending two tokens each because they're going over yeah. an obstacle. And they're cleverly placed behind trees. He moved up a uh, two inch and took a shot. Yeah. And wounded one of your guys. Guys. Okay, cool. Oh, devastating I'm, I'm turn. Done. 
Uh, we can do a seamless transition because you need to roll a six to see if you do something with my light machine gun team. That's correct. And I need to get something done with your machine gun. I'm gonna roll it over by the guys I'm suppressing. Ha! Ah, close, but no close. cigarros. Uh, correct. So, do you want to have a breather? Breather. <gasps> okay, done. Okay, so I have six new tokens. Yes, and then you have eight in total. Where's there's my last one? I then you have eight. Eight in total. Since you banked two, so now we'll see how that will affect the game. Yes, sir. I'm gonna uh, start shooting. Okay. Because I need to. Kill you guys. Yes. Yes, sir. Um, you have, you've got a bunch of cover over there. I don't have you? a bunch of cover. Yeah, because you know this guy. The guy fell over, didn't this he? This guy counts as cover. But it, do you have that from him? I'm gonna have to get the laser. Laser tag. The laser pointer. Usually we do the laser pointing and stuff before we start rolling. But now there so was that, a seamless yeah. transition. That's only a five. That's only a five. Yep. So, Mr. Helmet is going to... oh, that's not my tokens. Here are my tokens. He's gonna fire upon that guy. Okay, which means I can unleash his opportunity fire. Do you want to unleash that? You have I, one die hitting on six? I will have to. Shooting through a cover. Shooting is, through two covers. Yeah, this one and the one you're behind. Yep, yep. But I can roll a six. Oh, you can't. Come on. Six. Woo! It was on its it, way. It was on its way, but it's, it's a uh, bump, bump in the thing. So it should actually be a reroll, shouldn't it? No. I'm going to aim that shot, <laughs> but no. <laughs> so you're going to have three dice on him, hitting on five. Five. fives. Okay, cool. If you kill him, then my opportunity fire goes away. That's correct. And that's what I'm hoping for. That's what you're aiming for. <laughs> huh. bam Nothing. That was a crappy roll as they can be. And that's two tokens spent on uh, plucking wood. Nothing. Cool. So uh, what do you want to do now? And that that's the, the rifle man. You have been praising them. Yeah, yeah. But they can only shoot once in a turn. Yes, that's correct. But they are still really, really good. They are really good. And I'm going to let that guy rot. Uh, this guy? <laughs> rot? Mr. Okay. Rupert Schneider is going to fire an aim. Okay, so he's losing his opportunity fire. Yeah, but you can just leave it there because I think I'm gonna re redo it, reacquire it if I don't uh, take off your light machine gun. So you want to shoot on my light machine gun? Yeah. You want to hit on a six That's because correct. one cover and two cover. two cover. Yeah. Come on, no sixes. Come on, man. Come on, no sixes. What am? No sixes. <laughs> Another token to redo the opportunity fire. Okay, so that's three tokens spent on Rupert. Yes, sir. Now you get the opportunity to fire upon him because Mr. Schütze, Mr. Schütze is going into opportunity fire. Okay, then I will spend his opportunity fire. Yeah. So we'll just remove that. And he will then take the shot. And okay. it's one cover, two, and cover. two covers. But these are two pieces of cover, don't they count as two? You're so funny. Let's see if we can roll the six again. Or forever. Oh, it's a one. Oh, my lord, skis. Sorry, man. That removes your opportunity fire. Yes, what's he gonna shoot at? Uh, he places an opportunity fire over there. Oh, no. So you don't want me to get into that cover? No, I don't. You're clever cover. <laughs> clever cover. I have two tokens left, and I think I'm gonna save them. Okay, cool. You have two <laughs> six. <laughs> too many fingers. <laughs> US turn six. I'm. I have. I to think we're gonna have to stop counting the turns because we're gonna mess it up. You think? And then some guy is gonna comment in the comment section below, going, "Oh, in turn four, you said it was turn five, but how can't you even count in Norway?" <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. This guy. Oh no. He's gonna get two tokens. He's gonna shoot and aim at your light machine gun. <laughs> okay. Need to remove that suppression Let's ability. Go. Two dice hitting on a six. Yes. Suppression ability. And Whoa. he's dead! That guy uh. is dead. Suppression gone. Thank you, ma'am. Then, I will start moving again on this flank. Okay, cool. This guy is okay. gonna get a four inch move. Okay. Okay, cool. He is gonna move four, four inches. inches. <laughs> this guy's gonna get a four inch move. He's gonna, He's gonna move four inches. Four inches! 
and with his move he's gonna lay down an opportunity fire on that guy opportunity fire or should he shoot that's up to you it's a five but you can take cover you have two tokens. i have cover and now you know i can roll sixes he is in cover oh yes he yeah he's done anything no, I, 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 I am too unprotected, so I will move him there and uh, yes. lay down an opportunity fire. This is his target. This guy! Mr. Ludwig Gaia. Gaia! Then, I'm gonna spend two tokens on this guy and he's gonna move! Yes! He's gonna move four inches! Okay! Because that's his move. But you, then you only need to spend one token on him. Yes. Yes. And then... Yes. He can actually see... Your sniper. Yes, he can. But I think I wanna, I think I wanna move him maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit. Over to a little bit side. more. And can I clear? Now I can clear, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take a pot shot at your sniper. Okay, it's, hitting on a five. It's long range and one cover. Yep. yep. Two tokens spent. You don't have any tokens to aim that shot, no. so I'm not gonna take cover. Oh, you brave it again. Yeah, yeah. I sense some uh, real bad stuff happening next turn. <laughs> Come on, five plus. No! I said no, but it was because I was looking for a six. You were so I realized it was a five, and hey, he's wounded. So, uh, Mr. Rupert is wounded. I would say that's a pretty decent turn for the Americans. Maybe now we can start. What should I say? Moving forward again after oh, so small... now the game can really begin yes after yes. a small hiccup on that side where you've been mowing down my guys all right are you ready sir i'm ready are you ready okay so i'm gonna spend my first action token on mr eric kearney because now you got eight tokens yes i do just gathering them up but there are some casualties or wounded soldiers along the german lines as well yeah yeah, yeah but it's war you have to expect some broken eggs and of course, if this wasn't a game where the U.S. needed to uh, get forward, we can just stand back and have a shooting duel. And that's no fun. No, that's no fun. Mr. Eric is going to fire. Speaking of a shooting duel, he's going to fire on the guy out in the open. Hitting on a four. Oh, no. But he only has a submachine gun. Yeah, yeah. So one dice. He's shooting at him. Yep, yep. One die, hitting on a four. Wha-bam! That's a three. He's going to fire again. Oh, because he has two shots? Yep, yep. Hitting on a three. Wha-bam! Oh no! So he's wounded. He's wounded. I will flip his card yes, over sir. to I the wounded side. The okay, so he's wounded. Now let's see. What shall we do? Yeah? You don't have uh, the opportunity to aim on that dude. No, nope, but it's a 5 plus if you want to do something. I want to do something. Do you want to do something? I want to fire upon him with Christian Kruger. Okay. So Christian is going to shoot at this guy. Yep, yep. That's one piece of cover. Yeah, I can see that. I only get one cover because you can trace that line yeah. between these two. So I'm uh, going to aim that shot so I get three dice. Even when he's wounded? Yep, yep. Oh no. Christian's three dice, hitting on Christian's five uh, on this guy. And that's a six. six. No. So he's wounded. He is wounded as well. Turning that card over. And uh, getting a wound shock marker on him. Yes, sir. Now I just need to um... find the laser. Yes, sir. Because I got it right, right here. Thanks, babe. Because now Christian has a clear line of sight to that guy as well. Yes, and he can shoot twice in a turn. Yeah, yeah. But what's his limit? It's three. So we can't aim that. No, no. But I'm gonna fire. One shot, hitting, hitting only on four. four on this guy. He's wounded. Rolling in the forest somewhere. Oh. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> it's a one. <laughs> didn't even mind to roll. Okay, but <laughs> this dude. Yes. He's called Otto, the hero of the trenches. So Otto. He can also trace the line of fire to that guy between the trees. Yes, he can. One shot hitting on a four. Removing the in cover status. Nice. My plan is working. Well, bam. Uh, so one shot hitting on four. So you're shooting twice with him as well. And one token left. Oh my lord, now he's really... Oh, oh, he so saw? he's wounded as well. You saw he switched to die, he's not wounded, he's dead. Uh, I threw all the dice I had at him. Yes, because he was uh, wounded from before. I uh, One token left and I think, well, you can't manage this flank. You just can't. 
It's a hard flank. It's I'm so entrenched over here and my riflemen are doing such a great job. I think I'm just gonna let you try to maneuver. Maneuver! And then kill you while you fail at doing that. <laughs> I've decimated your flank over there. Yeah, you, you have. You still have your light machine gun thing, but it's not really that dangerous. I'm gonna save a token, end my turn, remove the wounded effect from Rupert Schneider, which means he can still do his opportunity fire. Pass the turn to you. But he can't do that, of course, because I forgot to remove it when he was wounded. Yes. So he can't do that, but I'm saving the token. That's Either one way. of the cool things about the game. What is? That it's, you know, it's it's hard because it's low <laughs> range. Yeah. You know, the, you have the range, you just need to find those openings. Yep. Uh, speaking of which, I will use this guy. One token on him to place an opportunity fire between these two guys. Okay, because you have a two inch opportunity fire range. I do, I do, I do. So place this behind the cover, indicating that it reaches both of the guys. Yes. Okay. Now I'm, I want to start using my uh, machine gun. Okay, so press it fire. No, actually I'm going to take a pot shot. What? Yeah, because I don't like your rifleman over there and he's in a position where he is safe from that Wait flight. a minute. Yeah, yes. Yeah, because you have a clear line of fire. It's a five. And you have seen me roll five first, so here comes one shot at long range. Bop, 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 bop. On the table, please. Bop, 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 bop. I can't see the but I hear some screaming. <laughs> That's a hit. So, Mr. Helmet, boom, 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 gets. Boom. he's wounded. He's wounded. Which opens up this guy to do a three inch move. He's gonna jump over and he's gonna move. Such in a way that he can be behind his friend here. Yes, yes, because now I can't shoot you on the outside of the cover. So now you only need to be worried about these two. Yes, and these two are in the uh, opportunity fire yeah. on him. Or this guy has a Nice! And then I will spend one token on this guy. Mm -hmm. And I will actually aim that shot. No, I will not. I will. I will take a shot. I will take an opportunity fire. Okay. And I will place it here. It's a one-inch token. So if I place it here, I will catch yeah, both you, of them. Yeah. I'll just yeah, just place it in front so we know where it is. It's on both of these dudes. And then I got one token left. Okay. What do you want to do with that? I'm gonna save it. What? Next turn. Are you crazy. Next turn, there will be hell to pay. Is this the first token you've saved? Yes! With 15 guys, <laughs> it's hard to save. Oh, it is. But you should, you should. I managed to save one token last turn, so I'm actually at seven tokens now. You're at seven tokens, so it's going yes, to be the battle of seven tokens. Was that a battle? I haven't heard of about that battle. Where are we going to have it? Oh, it's, it's the battle we're filming right now. Yes. The battle, battle of seven, seven tokens. tokens. So what do you want to do now, pal? Well, now, pal, pal, um, you can remove your wound truck tokens. Oh yeah, that should be removed at the uh, end of the turn. I'll just keep on killing those guys so that you maybe spend your token. Eric is gonna fire upon the guy he wounded. Hit him on four. That guy. Yes, sir. He has one shot. Yep, yep. Hit him on four. I will brave it. You will. No! He Tons. drops. He drops. Then... Um, There's so many grenades lying around. Ludwig... Gaia... Is gonna fire upon the guy out in the open. So that guy is gonna fire at this guy. Yeah. Hitting on a four. He has a submachine gun as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two shots. I'll brave it. Come on. You will die. Oh! Oh man! I'm sorry, uh, the Germans call it Schattenfreude. It's uh, when you get really, really happy because someone else is doing really, really bad. And it's the only true source of joy. Schadenfreude. Yeah, that's how they say it. Schadenfreude, yeah. So, Mr. Rupert Schneider. Yeah, the sniper. Yeah, he's gonna fire upon the guy over there. This guy. You know the guy with one piece of cover between me and him? Yeah. So one shot at long range has two dice. Do you want to take cover? I want to spend my last token to take cover. 
Okay, cool. Do you want to aim it or do you want to go with the two? No, I'm just going to do the two. Yeah, because now he's using the normal tactic that you should always do when doing these things. First declare the shot, waiting for the opponent, and if he takes cover, evaluate if it's worth to spend another token. I'll be hitting on six, since you took take cover. Yeah, two dice. And no there's six. no sixes. I didn't even have to take cover. No. But if I didn't have to take cover, you would have spent five dice. No, because I needed him not on limit, because now I'm going to place the opportunity well, yeah, to fire because he's back wounded. on the machine gun. Yeah. He's wounded. So oh. you actually fell for my trap. I did. That was actually, if I was... If so I, the battle of seven tokens is... <laughs> now battle of seven versus six. <laughs> so if I was, if I would have thought about that, I would know that he was on his... Uh, his action was reduced to three. Yep, yep. So if he had if done you, that... If you would just thunk yourself a little about. Thunk myself. So <laughs> Mr. Eric Koenig. Yes. Well, his... His limit is three, but he has Eric next to him, so he has a limit of five. That is actually so. true. The, uh, uh, so he's not that, that bad. bad. No, the NCO actually gives him two free extra. Yeah, and it's very good to have him next to Rupert, be, so so that you can aim those shots. Yes. But I, the thing I wanted was for you to spend that token, because I want the token um, edge. The token edge. I, I want to have the most tokens. Yes. Mr. Eric is just gonna lay down some more fire on your um, your thingamajig. That guy. Yeah, hitting on five. Yep, that's a clear line, hitting on a five. Yep. One cover. Well, bam. Oh. It's a three. We saw the <laughs> Did six. Did you see it spinning on the six? We saw the six. I'm going to bank two tokens, making okay. this the uh, battle, battle of eight, eight tokens. tokens. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to spend a couple of tokens, or actually <coughs> two, to move him, not three inches, but roughly. Yes, sir. Just enough that I can... Put the clear line of fire to this dude. Yep. Yes, indeed. And I'm gonna fire a name. Fire a name. So you you have two dice. Do you want to take cover? Two dice hitting on five. That's gonna be a five, yeah. Um, I can't afford to take cover because then I'll lose my opportunity fire. Oh no! But I wanted you to lose your opportunity fire. Okay, then I'll take cover. I'm a dumb gentleman. Okay, do it. No, I won't. Ah, <laughs> bad, bad. Okay, so that's. Two dice from him at your sniper. Yes, sir. Come on, let's see the five or a six. Yada! Boom, and he's dead. He's dead. He loses the upfire, which means he cannot <laughs> unleash. No, he keeps the opportunity to fire when he's dead. No. <laughs> which means he cannot unleash a buttload of shots on these guys. Correct, correct. Which means my machine gun will once again shoot at your guy over there, hitting on five, unless you wanna. No. <laughs> I like it when you can't do it. So I can do it. I have saved two tokens. Yeah. I'm not at limit. Light machine gun. Yep, yep. Hitting on five. It's no! One. It was because I touched that one. <laughs> okay, he's on limit, so he can't do anything. This guy. Yeah. <sighs> what would you like to do with this guy? He has three inch move, yeah. Okay, so moving up there. One token. One Picking token. up the grenade. No. Throwing the grenade, <laughs> creating a smoke screen, and running through the smoke. Got the, got the, got the, just like Otto Hessler did in the tre got, that, Great got, Trench uh, War. Now that guy has a good luck. You know what? I'm gonna shoot at him. What? He, With who? He, With him. Okay, cool. So it's a clear line. Hitting yeah. on fire. Yeah, sure. So that's uh, two. Uh, who on. has this opportunity to fire? Uh, it was probably him. Probably him. Not anymore. So one die hitting on five. Oh, you're not going to aim it? I can't. I don't have any tokens. Oh, is that your last token? Yes. Well, then I'll take cover. No. Oh. Yeah. Boop. Okay. So hitting on six then? Yeah, sure. Come on, six. That's a no, five. No, he would Ooh. have been wounded. The taking of cover saved your ass. Dietrich Meyer. Okay. Alright, so I guess I'm back at uh, the Battle of Seven I'm Tokens. I'm still playing the Battle of the Seven Tokens. Yes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven tokens. Seven tokens. Yeah, because I removed his when he got taught. Taught. Yeah, taught. When he was taught a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because in German, taught is dead, yeah. Okay, how do I want to do this? I want to win the game. 
Yes, how do you want to do that? I'm just going to shoot you guys. Yeah, that's uh, that's what you're doing. You're just shooting my guys. Your objective is to run across the battlefield and take my fortified, fortified position. Yes. With all your free bayonets and stuff. We have to calculate the points for this later. It will be fun. So I'm just going to kill some dudes. Okay, where will you begin? I'm going to start by utilizing Dietrich Meyer. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually... Actually... I'm going to use Mr. Schutze. Yeah. Mr. Schutze will fire upon this guy. Okay, so Mr. Schutze, he was a prize or in the goodie bag in the tournament we had in the UK. Yes, sir. At the end of February. Pretty decent guy at only four points. Yeah, baby. But I think Claudio actually thought talked about adding him as a free card to this uh, Kickstarter. I'm not sure if Are he decided. Are you allowed to say that? I don't, I, I'm not sure if he decided, but he said maybe he wanted to do that because that would let people download the four free cards from the Ooh. website and have this fifth card so they can field five guys. Nice. And they're, all, cool. and they're all 26th full senators. They are? Yes. Mr. Schütze? Yes. He's going to shoot sir. Three dice, hitting on five. On this guy. Yes, sir. At limit, no tokens, nothing. He misses. I love it when you roll like crap. And that was the one shot he could do. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Dietrich Meyer? Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna fire with aim. So that guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Shooting at the guy behind some cover. Oh, because he's hiding behind his friend. Yeah. Oh, always hide behind the friend. Hitting on a five. That's why you bring your friends to battle. Yes. Oh, and he's no. wounded. Oh, he's wounded. So the card is flipped to the wounded side. Yeah. And he gets this wound token. And then what is up with you? Then I have three tokens left in this battle of the seven tokens. Mm -hmm. What I want to do, man. I don't know what you want to do. You got some opportunity to fire over here. I do, I do. But it's only so, one die, so you can brave it. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fire fire upon you with Mr. Wolfgang Schmidt. The guy who has camouflage. Yes, sir. And that's always the clever option since he will be hit on a six instead of a five. Yes, sir. But I will take that shot. Okay. Hitting on a six? I will take that shot and hit on a six. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Oh, the red was touching and was up, but it, then it fell back to the five. But, you know, who cares? It was a six. It was a five. So I'll be hitting you on a five. Yes, you will. And, and I lost my opportunity to fire. You've lost your opportunity to fire. I might as well aim that shot. Yeah, so two dice? Yeah. Two dice hitting on fives. Yes, sir, with the opportunity of a headshot. With the possibility. That's a five if you add them together. Yes, it is. I'm going to bank one token and make my next round another round of the... Battle of seven tokens. Yep. Hey, man. I think it's eight. You do? US eight. I'm going to bring in a new player. Oh, player 15 has entered the game. Yes. Private first class. He has a move of four. Yes, sir. So he's going to move all the way up here. Okay, he's been hiding behind this fence all the game. Yes, he has. And then he's out of line of sight. Yes. And he's gonna lay down an opportunity fire on your guy uh, okay. over here. Which color are you gonna use? This gray color. Okay, this one? Yeah. yeah Place yeah, this yeah. nearest to your one? Okay. So he is placing Dietrich Maya under opportunity fire. So if Dietrich wants to do anything, then he gets to fire upon him. Yes. Then I'm gonna do the light machine gun again. Okay. Cool. Shooting at your. A uh, guy that I'm desperately trying to kill. This guy over here? Yes. Well, he's gonna take cover. No! Then I will hit on six. Yes, yes. So put down a token for that, Boop. and you will only have six tokens next turn. Yes, sir. Battle Taking of six me tokens. out of the battle of seven tokens. <laughs> Let's hit a six. It's a two. No! Oh, you know what? I spent another one. I'm greedy. Okay, cool. He has three shots. Yes. Come on, let's hit a six. Yeah! Oh. Good one, good one. But my plan was to survive with him and shoot back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's the problem. He would hit on five. So he's dead. This guy is going to place another opportunity fire over at your two guys. Yes, sir. Uh, but I will say one, allowing me to aim that in case you want to try some to shenanigans again. Allowing you to enter the battle of the seven tokens. Yeah. 
So Schutz is gonna kill that guy over there. This guy? Yes, sir. Hitting on a five. Yeah. So he's got uh, he's got three dice. He has the opportunity to have three dice. Ah, so you're spending one token to shoot. Yeah. Do you want to take cover? Uh, no, you know what? I I'm in the then same. I will aim that shot. I'm in the same position as you. I can't afford to do that because I have another plan. Yes. So I will aim the shot. Come on! Don't roll a five. You have missed too many times. No <laughs> five. <laughs> and you can only shoot once. Yep. Yeah. You know, some luck must be have uh, having in the warfare as well. Must be having. Some luck must be having. <laughs> yes. I think the word you're looking for is had. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> okay, so Ludwig is Gaia. gonna move and fire. Okay, Ludwig Geyer. Okay, he has a uh, three inch moving fire or? Yeah. So he's gonna move over. Yeah, that's well within. Well within. So he's gonna move and take a pot shot at this guy. Yeah, yeah. But he has a submachine gun. Yes, sir. So it's one shot. Hitting on five. Okay, move and shoot. It's a one. It's a one. You, we shouldn't hit things because it always lands yeah. on a one. Yeah. So I have three tokens left. Yeah. You're not coming any closer. You're just standing, aiming and shooting. I'm gonna shoot with Wolfgang Schmidt. Again? Yeah, sure. Okay, but this time I saved one token. So I'm gonna aim my opportunity fire. Okay, that gives you two dice. Yes. No, three dice. Three dice. Because you're not wounded yet. I'm not wounded. Three dice? Yeah. Hitting on six. Yeah. Okay, so three dice hitting on six. This guy going after this guy. That guy. Okay. Six. Come on now. Let's take him out. No six. No. So I'm just gonna aim that shot. And you know what? I'm not gonna aim that shot. Okay. You I'm just gonna have my one dice. Conservative with the token tokens. Boom. Oh no. So he's ah. he's wounded. This flank has really fallen apart. So he's wounded. And that's the last guy in that rifle detachment. Yes, it is. So I might as well just start advancing on this flank to put the pressure on that you. That is actually something they did. If they spotted a weak player, yeah, you can do that. You got some fast movers. Yeah, but I'm, I'm going to save two tokens. I'm not in a rush. Your turn, man. Are you confident? It's number nine. I hope people are keeping track. <laughs> you know what? I I hope I have devised a plan that will allow me to really crush you. Okay. Drive your enemies before them. Crush them under your... No. And lamentations. <laughs> Do it. No. What's it? Do you remember? Y yes, I remember. Do it. But you have to ask me the correct question. You have to say, Martin, what is best in life? Martin, what is best in life? To crush your enemies, to see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentations of their women. Okay, cool. So let's begin with one action token on my machine gun. Yes! And instead of pot-shotting at your guys, I'm gonna lay down a suppression yes. over there. You've already placed the token so right in the middle of these guys. are now suppressed. They are suppressed. They are super est. He still has his opportunity fire, so yes, if that guy over there tries to move, yeah. he can be shot. Yeah. Then I have to do a gamble. Gamble Jane, yeah. And this guy, he is my NCO. Okay, the Enco. The Enco is gonna do a three inch move up to here. Uh, yes, sir. I'm having trouble filming him because of the dense foliage. The dense foliage, but you can go down and film. Oh, yes. Underneath. Yes. So I'm at an elevated position. Yeah. So you I ignore, ignore all pieces of cover except the one you are uh, behind. Yeah. So, so I'm I have this piece of cover. Yeah. What I could do is to place myself here, so that. But we don't. It's kind of silly that we should ignore the bush, isn't it? Because it's tall. <laughs> What do you mean, ignore the bush? Yeah, because you you ignore all cover except the, the last one. Yeah, so, no, it, that's not logical. It's not logical. So... I don't think I can get any of it. So it will just stay there. It, it's gonna be a brave. Brave brave it. He's spending one token to move three. Yep. Then he's gonna shoot. Okay, cool. With an aim. Okay, then I'll spend one token and take cover. Ah, oh, so I'll hit you on a six. Okay, cool. But I got two dice. 
with this uh, carbine. Yes, yeah, sir. I need that six, or else we are in trouble. Oh no! Should have saved the token. You should have saved the token. <laughs> but karma would have got me in the end. Ah, uh, man. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh, is that yeah. a clear shot? Yeah, that's a clear shot. You want to stop advancing and uh, rather do some firing? I have to stop him because he can initiate uh, suppression. Yes, he can. So I will spend two tokens on him and cool. take a shot at him with two dice hitting on A6. Yes, sir. That's oh, a miss. Oh, no! I'm being held back by useless ammunition. <laughs> do you have any more tokens? No! Okay, so that brings the turn to you. You! I'm going to lay down some opportunity fire and stuff this turn. Opportunity fire. Mr. Wolfgang Schmidt. Yes. So opportunity fire is a good way of uh, spending less tokens, but still achieving the same effect. <coughs> so token on him. Yeah. So instead of shooting with an aim, using two tokens, you can still have me, you know, pinned. Yeah. Sort of. Because even though you don't have any tokens at the moment uh, to take cover and stuff. I don't really need to advance this flank right now, so I'm just going to save that shot for later in case you start foiling my plan when Otto comes running. Yeah, hero of the Ardennes. Yeah. Mr. Erich Koenig. Yes, losing his in cover token. Yes, sir. He's going to start some suppression with uh, Ludwig Gaia. Okay, so these two guys. Yes, sir. And they're going to suppress you. I don't like that. And that's exactly why I tried to take out your Enco. Yeah. So now I lose my suppression. Yes, sir. On that your means guys. These guys are no longer suppressed. No, but they still started their round suppressed, so they can't. They cannot shoot. fire right now. Right now. But they can lay down opportunity fire. Yeah. But they're going to get shot. Yes, they are. Because this guy still has one opportunity fire going down there. Yeah, but now I'm putting the pressure on you, so now you have to do something about these. That is absolutely true. Dudes. Mr. Schutzler is yes. gonna lay down um a fire? You know, I have so many tokens. I'm now, just gonna fire upon a dude. You have a lot of tokens now. Yeah, I'm gonna fire upon a dude. Aiming that shot, giving me three dice, hitting on a five. Again? Yeah. Webam! Oh, even a headshot. And he was wounded from before. The white dice are back. <laughs> so he's now actually dead. He's actually dead. Then he's going to place an opportunity fire. Red one. I'm just going to place it on. No, you know what? I'm going to save that token instead. I'm, I'm banking two tokens. You're banking two tokens? Yeah. German player in number... No, it's the US player 10. US player 10. So, I'm gonna give myself some suppression. You're gonna give yourself you. some suppression? So he's actually gonna take part. He's gonna initiate with one token. Yes sir. Then he's gonna use one token to initiate uh, or help Participate. Him. Yes. Okay. That means you can unleash your up fire. I will unleash my up fire. Did you have a token saved? Yes I have. So two Boop. dice sitting on a five. That's correct. We, we are in agreement? Yes, two dice in the five because up fire. I do something, you respond to it. Wha-bam! Oh. And he misses. And the good thing now is that my suppression is three inches, so I will just place it uh, right in the middle here, so that all these three guys are suppressed. Yeah. So that's him and him. Yep, yep. Now, that doesn't solve the problem of Eric I Koenig. don't have one of those tokens, so I'm just gonna use my large hands and get one of these and just... Yeah, these three guys are suppressed. Back to you, Sven! Yes, uh, your Eric Koenig is suppressing uh, these guys. That's correct. Who was helping him? Oh, uh, wasn't it one of these guys? Yeah, it's uh, Ludwig Gaia, okay. which now is suppressed. So that means your suppression goes away? Uh, it does, doesn't it? It does, because you can't maintain suppression. That's correct. Uh, but they can't shoot because they started the round. That's correct. But I do want to take a shot at uh, your boss with this guy. Okay. He has two shots. One, two pieces of cover hitting on six. Yes, unless you take cover. 
Okay, so you're aiming the shot? Yes. He has an aim of one or? It's only one. Because it, how many tokens do you have left after that? Two. Ooh, that means you can do some stuff over there. Yeah. And I he, don't roll sixes. He loses his uh, opportunity to fire. Yep. Uh, I'm going to take cover. Okay. Making the shot impossible. Then it's an impossible shot. Yep, yep. You have two tokens left. Yep. What I should have done there is just take an opportunity fire on him. Saving one token. Yep. Instead of spending two. Rolling so, one dice and then... Aim it if, yeah. if you did something. Uh, okay. So with two tokens, what do you want to do, man? Uh, I don't like these guys over there. Well, they don't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're... It's like we're in a bar on Tatooine. Yes. Well, he doesn't like you either. You know what? Two tokens. Aim, shoot. Uh, okay. Try to take out that guy. Hitting on five. Yep, yep. No cover. Or no taking cover. No taking cover. Yeah. Boom. He's wounded. Yes. That is all my tokens. Yep, yep. Did we set a timer limit on this uh, battle? No, at least 20 rounds. Okay. You want to just grab the camera? Yeah. Because uh, now I have to retaliate. Yes. Retaliation. Well, I can't really retaliate because all my guys are suppressed or wounded. But uh, but you can do something. I can do something with my six tokens. There you go. Yeah. 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 I can't move and fire, but I can move and lay down opportunity fire. Yes, you can. So, I might as well just start jogging. Jogging. Mr. Wolfgang Schmidt. Well, spend two tokens to jump over and. Yeah, Mr. Otto Hessler. Otto Hessler, hero of the He's Ardennes. got a three inch moving fire, bringing it up to that token. Moving and firing. Oh, wait. It's a... Uh, yeah, but it's, it's not allowed. I actually read that in the rules. Is that not allowed? No, uh, you can't do a move and fire as part of a... Um, Rough uh, terrain thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Yes, I read it in the rules, actually. <sighs> that okay. is true. Okay. So he's gonna jump the fence and then do a move and fire <laughs> yes. before I remove. But now I... Then I have to use the laser thingy. Which is over there. And the mesh ring. Then we could have done this between takes. Yeah, we could have. Then he's got the opportunity to go all the way over there. Since you're in an elevated position, yes. that's a clear shot from there. So yes. he moves his five inches over the hedge thing, or the bunker thingy. Takes a fire move, shooting your NCO, hitting on four. Correct? Yep. And that's a the one. one. So he now has spent two tokens on movement for getting over, yes, and then a further on a shoot and move. That's correct. Yeah. So, so he's going to move. So this is inches. his final move. And I might as well just jog him towards some cover. Well, bring the fight to the enemy. Is that what they say? Yeah. Okay. So that's two tokens or three tokens spent on auto. Yes, sir. Mr. Wolfgang is just going to move out on the flank. Mr. Wolfgang. He's got a three inch move. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ludwig is going to move, I guess. Or does he have to? I don't know. Does he have to? No, he doesn't really have to. I'll fire with Eric. Okay. Who will Eric shoot at? Your NCO. He will hit him on a four. That he will. That's no. a five. So he's wounded and the suppression goes away. Wounded. You are foiling everything. Yes, sir. And... There's too many pieces of cover. Too many pieces of cover. I'm just gonna lay down an opportunity to fire with Schutze on um, this guy. Oh no. And pass the turn to you. Okay. Jenna, grab the camera. 
You're gonna grab the camera. We're gonna make one of those seamless transitions. Was it seamless? I believe it was. So how will you respond to this aggression? Suppression on these guys. Suppression on these guys. Yes. Is that your response? Yes. Okay. That means he can't be affected by your opportunity fire. That's correct. So he will move nine inches. Okay, bringing him into that piece of donut cover. Yes, and that was his limit. Because he he's wounded, he has a limit of three. And he can only and move a three. three. Okay, cool. So you've spent four tokens, you have two tokens left. That is correct. He is in a position or he can move and fire upon Otto. He can move and fire upon Otto. Yes, sir. I will not. I've survived 11 rounds now, so only nine rounds left. <laughs> since you set the limit to 20 rounds. I said at least 20 rounds. Well. Wow. All right, so you moved only over there. Then I get cover from your friend. Yeah, I think you will. Should I go the other way? Then I won't see you. That's correct. So you'll be hitting on a five. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Yep. Cool. So moving and shooting with one die. Moving and shooting. Hitting on a five. Otto is not no. wounded. Scheiße. Okay, passing the turn. Wow. Seamless transition. All right, so I get another six tokens. Yes. That I can wreck havoc with. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I think maybe Six. maybe we should have started a bit closer. <laughs> no, we have unlimited range. Yeah, we, we do. We to do a big scale battle, bolt action style yeah. with 148 tactics. Absolutely. But if we had been a little bit uh, closer, maybe we would have gotten some uh, grenade action and shit going on. Just a little bit. Short range shooting. Who knows? We'll see what happens. I'm gonna. I might as well start using Otto for what it's worth. Yeah, Otto is worth a lot. Let's see, it? if I move up to that cover, will I be able to see you past your dude? Probably will. Yes? Yeah. So, is that three inches? Oh, oh that's more than three. Fire it. No, I can't move it. So I will move. Yes, one. Up to the thingy. Yes. You see Less that? than two inches, so you ignore yeah. that. Shooting past the downed guy who provides cover. It's one cover because of the uh, stone fence. Yes. I will uh, move shoot. and fire. Yes. Hitting on a five. So you will shoot and then move? Yeah. Okay, cool. Bringing it on. He's That's not wounded. Or he is wounded, but. He's not dead. He's not dead yet. <laughs> because I need to get some cover from your other dudes. Uh, my move will be over here. Yes, so that is your second move yes. with Otto. And I will move and fire again. Move and fire again. That brings me to three moves and yeah. two fire actions. That is correct. I think I will manage to get... Yeah, you will. You will. But then I'll, yeah, I'll have a cover at least. I'll hit your guy on a five. Okay, cool. That's no! six. No! He's so dead. He's dead. No! And there are so many grenades you can pick up and use here. <laughs> Otto. Yeah. Otto runs over here. Mm -hmm. So that's three tokens spent on him. One Thank move, you. one move and shoot, one move and shoot. Yeah. Or shoot and move and shoot and move. Otto! My man! Yeah, you know, this is the fun part of the game when you can start using your heroes. Your heroes? Yes. Right, so back to these dudes. Yeah. Your NCO is now out of his uh, thingy. That is correct. This one is removed at the end of my turn. So. It's a four. I think I'm gonna kill him. You hit him on a four? Yeah. If you hit him, he's dead. I'm gonna fire. Okay, hitting on a four. Oh no! This is horrible, horrible news for the US. They are being slaughtered in the Ardennes. Mr. Um, Mr. Ludwig Gaia yes. gets an action. He's going into opportunity fire. Placing that opportunity fire over here. Oh no. 
right? Yeah. Are we... You have one piece of cover where you are right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's going to be a hitting on a five, yep. but it puts the pressure on you. Yeah. I'm going to bank one token to take cover from something. Okay, cool. Bam, 11. <clears throat> Wabam 11? Maybe 12. <laughs> Maybe 12. I think it said 11 like two turns ago. <laughs> <laughs> but who's creeping count? Uh, this guy, you have an opportunity fire on him? Yes, sir. He's going to do a shoot action at your guy having opportunity fire. Okay, well then I will uh, reciprocate the... I don't know. You will respond to that by shooting at me with one die hitting on a five. Yes, sir. Because I am in the cover. Yes, sir. And you cannot take cover from the opportunity fire. No. Wha bam! And that's a five. I forgot to ask if you were aiming. No. Nope. So you only spent one token. I only spent one token. But he's dead. He's dead. Because he was wounded. Yeah. So he now occupies this position. Uh, and there's a grenade in there. <laughs> yes, there is. So you have uh, five more tokens to spend? I do. But now you are at four dudes remaining. Is that all I have? Yeah. Do you still get six? Yeah, you still get six. So now it's your heroic moment. <laughs> right? <laughs> you have this bayonet. I card. have the bayonet. I'm filming all the cards we're not allowed to show. So if anyone just pauses and uh, Don't looks film at them. all the cards you can't show. So you have the bayonet on everyone. Yes. Giving you two extra dice in close and combat. Priority. And priority. So if you just run across and yes. jump the fence yes you have like 10 dice or something yes i have yes fantastic phantasmal killer phantasmal killer okay so what do you want to do with your remaining five tokens swine you want to lay down some suppressive fire i have suppressive fire on these guys yeah but you you got your corporal he can also do it yeah he can yeah he can but uh, then I can't move it anyone. No, no, no. But then I'll have to move. Ah. Then I'll have to run Otto closer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Yes, no. I don't know. What? You forgot to roll your one die against these guys. Oh, yeah, I did. Because yeah. when you start your, uh, your round still suppressing someone. Yeah. And if he would have rolled a six, one would have gone. Yeah, the one with the lowest hand-to-hand -hand value. So it would have been Dietrich, which, which was already wounded. So that's actually really dangerous for me to stay in that suppression. Really dangerous. This guy is going to spend three tokens on moving. Oh no. So he's going to move four and then another four. Okay, cool. He's jumping the fence. Jumping in the fence costs two actions. Running up behind the smoke, leaving him rather safe from these dudes. Behind some guys, giving him some cover. Nice. And okay. then I'll just bank two. Banking two. Are you crazy, man? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give you this camera, because you're... I'm gonna end your turn right there. How many tokens do I have? I think you're at uh, the battle of seven tokens. I'm at the battle of seven tokens. Five, six, seven tokens. Because you didn't do anything about Otto. No, because he is in a position where I have no shot at him. I tried and checked if this guy might get an opportunity fire or something, but there is too much cover between us. Yeah. And what do they say in that song when you try your best and you don't succeed? Try it again. I'm going to lay down some suppressive fire on your guys. Of course you are. I'm just going to move your suppressive fire. Yeah, because I lose mine. You can just flip yours over. I don't have it. Okay. But yeah, I can I can put one here. Yeah. So Eric and Ludwig has three inch together. Have three inches together. Uh, uh, yes. Which leaves these guys open, and they can place some opportunity fires, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, Dietrich is wound shocked. I was supposed to remove that last turn, I think. Mm -hmm. So they're getting a token each. Mm -hmm. And I'm using greens and reds, so he is placing one over by this piece of cover in case you want to wrap around. Go that way, and he's placing one over here in case you want to go that way. 
You can, of course, run in the middle and out, but it's going to cost me two tokens to go over my buddy there. Your buddy, buddy. Yep. Yeah, hey, buddy, buddy. And Otto is going to lay waste to your dudes. Let me see. Move and fire. Mm -hmm. Three inches of movement. Out in the open. Past the guy with the smoke grenade. Firing upon your private first class rifleman. Costing five points. And all of that. Hitting on a five. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take cover? Um, making, it, uh, making it a roll of six. Nope, you won't make that five. I made the six though. Oh my lord, skis. So he's wounded. Well, he's wounded. I think this is the end of the US. I think this is when the Germans won the, won the war. I don't think they won the war. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, uh, Otto is then gonna keep on moving. He's gonna do a... Can I do this with eight inches? Yes, I can. I'm gonna one move and one move and shoot. Move and move and shoot. Okay. Uh, I think. Do I need to move and shoot? I don't know. Because... I'm gonna shoot from where I start. I'm gonna shoot and move and then move. Okay. Okay. Ending up behind here. I'm gonna shoot the next dude. Okay. Then I think I will have two covers because now we have to clear that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna hit on a six. Yeah, but you can't roll a six. Oh, I can't. Not nope. twice in a row. Nope. So he's got three tokens up on the flank. And, and he's hiding behind the bush. Yeah. And he's within deadly range. Yeah, because he can move 10 inches next turn and chuck a grenade 10 inches. Wabama! Your turn, Sven. Something, hey, something. Something, something. Okay, this guy, so what are you gonna do, man? He's gonna get a double move. What's his name? Or not a double move. He's a private uh, first class. Okay. So he's gonna move double because he's on top of his buddy boy. Okay, that's, that's two action tokens. Two action tokens on him. Do you want to try to escape the... Um... No, because you can't see me. I can't see you. I'm behind the smoke. But I'm gonna spend only those two on him. Then I've done some uh, measuring with my thing. Yes! <laughs> my NCO or yes! corporal is gonna move over to here. Over to there. That's a double move. Okay. And the reason I'm going exactly here is because then your uh, suppression guy can't see me. Because you need to have line of sight to suppression. Yeah, yeah, but, but it's still just three inches from this thing. So you're out of the suppression area. Yes, I am. Yes. And then he's going to lay down an opportunity fire. Yes, sir. At Otto. Oh, no. Yeah, Otto. So he's not even at limit. No, no, he's only at He's three. got an aim of one. Oh, no. Yes. So I really need to do something about him. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, cool. And then I'm going to spend two tokens on my light machine gun. What? Are you moving? Yeah, he's going to go double moving at six. Uh, okay, so crossing the fence. Yep. So two to cross the fence and then on further two up here. So that's three tokens to do that, bringing him up to this position. Cool. <coughs> and then you're out of tokens? I got one left. Because I had uh, eight. Three, two. two. Three tokens to cross the fence and run over there. Yeah, so two to move over. And your corporal double moved. And So you're out of tokens if you do that. Oh yeah, because that should be there. Yeah, because you, exactly. you placed it to measure. Yeah, yes. that's what I did. So that's six, two, yeah. So I'm out of tokens. Okay, cool. But I have an opportunity to fire on auto. Yes, you do. And I have the opportunity to win the battle. Yes. Woo! Let's start out by rolling my suppressive fire dice. On this guy. Yes, sir. Who is still suppressed. Two guys shooting, so you get two dice. One and a two. Not a six. Not even close. So I gather up some tokens. I spent them all last turn, so I am back at six tokens. Uh -huh. Otto's going to keep his grenade, though. Okay, like that. I will need to. Um, I will need to kill your dude. Is that okay? Yeah, you. Can I do that? Well, that's what you've been doing all day, isn't it? Okay. I will move and fire. Okay. <laughs> move and fire. Hitting on a five. Yes. One die. Yep. Yep. 
Five. No! <laughs> no! So you wound my NCO? Yes, yes! Oh, crapsies. Now he counts as having taken cover. Yeah, but now he doesn't have the opportunity for an auto. That's correct, so Otto is gonna move that bus. Right? Can he do that? He can move fire. Can he move a bus? Yeah, probably. With the power of, of Otto? Otto. Okay, come on. Well, uh, I'm just gonna pre-measure some stuff. If I need to be within 10 inches, right? To throw a grenade, yes. No, to get my bunch of dice. Oh yeah, to have three dice. Yeah, so I'm gonna move. And um, then I'm gonna move and fire. Okay, so that's a total of eight. That's a total of eight. Bringing me up to... Hish. Which is short for hairish. Yes. I'm gonna fire three dice on your guys. Mm -hmm. Which is his uh, short range uh, fire amount. And the 10 inch range, yeah, hitting on four on my light machine gun. That's correct. Whabam! Is that even possible? Okay, so what do you want to do with your next shot? <laughs> What's the... The grenade is ignored, uh, or the blast is ignored because of the color. So you can only get, uh, well, you can get these two guys. You know what? I'm gonna fire again. Okay, three dice. On the same three. guy. Oh, you're going for this guy. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna charge. <laughs> <laughs> but you have spent, oh, no, you have one move left. I have one move left. Ready? Yes. I'm gonna roll here. Yes. He's wounded. He's wounded. So all the guys on that flank are wounded. Indeed they are. Wait a minute, who wounded that guy? Uh, you wounded him uh, with Otto, I think. Or no, it was... No, uh, one I, of I the... shot the corporal. Yeah, but he was wounded... Uh, no... Previous turn. Oh yeah, so you just forgot to remove it? Yeah, I think. Probably. So. Okay. But I'm gonna... He's suppressed, so that's okay. Yeah. But he's got a... No, he only has a move three. But he's got a grenade. His range is reduced by five. It's okay. And it's uh, subject to dispersion. Yes. So I got two tokens left. Yes. I'm gonna keep suppressing that dude with these dudes. Yes. And I'm gonna lay down an opportunity fire with Christian Kluger. Okay, who's he gonna up fire? I'm gonna save a token. Up fire on who? Uh, whom? Uh, the, the guy over here. With Christian Kluger? Yeah. Cause if I can just find the laser thingy. Chris is, he has one piece of cover. Yeah. So you're gonna have to do something with him, and I'm just gonna make it hard for you. Well, of course you are. <laughs> hey, something, man? something, something. Sam? <laughs> it's a slaughterhouse. <laughs> this guy is actually in a position to shoot at your NCO. No! Yes. My NCO? NCO, where is that? <laughs> yes, he is. You wanna lose your suppression? Uh, no, I wanna use my opportunity fire. Okay, you have an opportunity to fire with Christian Kruger, he's yes, on a 5. I'm gonna aim that. You're gonna aim it. Can I have three dice, please? Yes, you can, but you will not roll a 5. Oh no, he gave me the black dice. Roll, not a 5. A 5. <laughs> so you're wounded? You only spent one token though, since I forgot to ask if you want to aim that shot. Yeah, because it was only one token. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, wounded. 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 Wound shock. And this one is removed. Yeah, and then my guy who is... Well, Suppressed? Yeah, he came back. He is going to move... Two, or he's going to move once, three mm -hmm. inches up to here. Is this? And he's going to put down an opportunity fire on... Otto. Okay, cool. And that's uh, pretty much all I can do. Can I move before I lay down suppressive fire? I don't understand the question. Yeah, 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 you can. Uh, so the, uh, you can't shoot. Okay. It's the only fire action you're allowed to do. Okay. So you get one, So two, no in, nobody inside the three, suppression area right now, so you don't roll for four, five, six. those sixes. Correct. Correct. So if I move over here... Yes. I can see that area and I can down a new suppressive fire thing. Yes. And Rex 
wreck everyone's day. Yes. But then I'm gonna have to double move over the thingy. Yeah, you're gonna face some of the problems I've been facing all game. And that guy can just take me out. No, he's wounded. Because you wounded him. He was wounded on your turn. Thank you, Sven. Thank you. Thank you. That's sportsmanlike. Double token. Jumping out here. Then he can see past the tank. Past the tank. All the way down to your dudes. Suppression. One token. Suppressing. This guy is joining in. One token. Yep. And I'm suppressing the whole Brady Bunch. Yes, you are. Mr. Hessler. Well, my opportunity fire doesn't do much now. So you can just lob a just grenade. Well, I can lob a grenade over here. Yep. Killing those guys, but mm -hmm. then this guy is going to charge me. No, you can shoot him. Well, I have two tokens left. Oh, you only have two left. Yeah. Okay. So I think I'm going to shoot him. And maybe do a move and shoot on someone else. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna fire upon your wounded guy. Okay. This guy with the light machine gun? Yeah. Okay. So three dice hitting on a five since he's now oh are you within five? If you're within five, you ignore the You know what? I'm gonna move and shoot. Okay. Uh, I said that right? Yeah, you said. Because <laughs> it's very smart to be within five inches because you ignore the in cover yeah. uh, situation. Just moving over here. And within five. Hitting on a four. Okay. Good luck to you. And he's dead. No luck to you. So he's dead. And, and then another move and shoot and take out another guy. No, no. Opportunity fire. Yeah, why not? Like this. Okay. So that's your tokens gone. Yeah. Yeah, because this guy is also out of wound shock right you can use both of these guys on your turn yeah 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 I'm gonna do it like that because yeah at the end of my because he passed my previous turn yeah oh we need to remember to remove those tokens yes at the end of the turn at the end we, of my turn we're used to removing them at the start of the turn which was wrong yeah it says in the book at the end of my next turn yes. ah hello sign I got three models left out of my 15 but how many tokens do you have I got nine but in a normal game, you would have won a long time ago because oh, yes. you would go 50%. after the points. But yes. now it was a mission objective yes, game. Sir. Yes, sir. So, but before I quit, yeah. I'm going to kill the hero of the trenches. No, please don't. I, please don't. I will put an end but Otto has to Otto. been doing so great. Look, Wait. look, 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 see. No, two, two tokens. No, Two tokens, he can move over there, and then uh, 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 a third token. Uh, 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 stop. Uh, I'm going to utilize this. Okay, but you have to shoot when I activate. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah I'm hitting on a five. I will have cover. We auto can't hit on a five, can he? Daka, daka, daka. Yes, he can. Oh no, when he was wounded from before. Yes, sir. So that's two tokens spent on him. Two tokens spent on doing nothing. Yeah, but I wonder, do I have another guy standing next to him? But yes, you do. Does he have a bayonet? Uh, yes, he does. Okay, so if I move six inches here and three inches there, through the gate. Yeah, yep. <laughs> through the gates of hell. So it's three tokens on him. I have the bayonet, which gives me two extra in hand-to-hand, -hand plus yes, priority. So less priority. On the uh, corporal's wounded side, he has five dice. He's actually a beast. So I have seven dice. Yes, you do. <laughs> But wow! Yeah, but I do! That's need. Tom Flanagan or what's his name? Tom Flanagan? Tom Sheridan? But yeah, that's Sheridan. Uh, which is also a, a uh, event special figure. Oh, he is? The combat shotgun guy? Yeah. Uh, and, but you in this Kickstarter that we're sort of showing off the models for now, not the models, the cards. Yes. Uh, you will get Tom Sheridan's brother. Yes, sir. As a... Mr. Jim Flanagan. <laughs> I don't know what his name is, but he has the combat shotgun, but not the bayonet attached to it. Ah! Oh. But you can use this one and attach it, and then have the same guy. Wow! Pretty cool, right? He's so cool. I saw many people using him in the tournament, Yeah, and he was He's awesome. a beast. Anyway, he has five hand-to-hand, -hand plus two, and priority. Yep. So seven I'm trying to delay it by sticking, but that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> you need a double six, though. I do, or you can kill me back. 
Because I'm wounded. Yes. This is this is actually risky. <laughs> yes, it is. Two sixes. Come on. <gasps> no sickness! Oh my lord! Then Otto has With a his hand measly hand four, four dice. I'm gonna use the white ones, please. You want to use the white I'm ones? Getting, I'm superstitious with this. You know this. And he scores the goddamn <laughs> six. He kills my corporal. Oh, Otto Hessler, ah! hero of the Ardennes. Can I can I kill him with that guy? No, he's wounded. Ah! You know what? The U.S. surrenders. They got one guy left. You know what? On and my... he he yells, "Remembers the Alamo." On my next turn, I would like to move Otto here, and I have a clear line of sight. Yeah, this is your turn because and, and he has to pass. And my two He has to pass. <laughs> and he was wounded, right? Yeah. <laughs> but you only get one shot. No, two shots. One shot, long range. Yeah, yeah, but we two, two, with three yeah. action turns. You have to yeah. roll them one and one. Okay, sorry. One and one. So shot number one is a two. Uh -huh. Shot number two is a six. Ah! So it wouldn't have mattered if I took cover anyway. Okay, so that concludes wow. the annihilation of the Ardennes. <laughs> yes, sir. And playing 148 tactic with this many models, uh, I think we... It started off with too few action tokens yeah, per yeah, side. Yeah, that think... is my um, wisdom I take uh, from this battle. So I think we will uh, need to go to work on some uh, large scale rules. Yeah, I think we need some... Uh, well, you know, there will be rules for officers and activating and getting more. Uh, there, there are rules in the works for that. Yep. But when we do our games... Uh, if we if we do more of these big ones, yep. I think maybe we'll try eight or something, or or maybe we make a rule that doesn't give you eight indefinitely. No, but if you Based have so and so many, many yeah. You have. yeah, something like that. Because I was I, I got a good start. Yes. I, I got a real good start. Very good start. But I was a bit hampered by having six tokens, and I didn't really because what I wanted to do was to flood you with targets. Yeah. So that you could shoot at some, yeah. But some would get through and start poking your guys. Yeah, I was really worried about this forest because I uh, envisioned uh, you as Marines running from tree to tree, getting these guys that don't really aim that well. You as Marines won't be f until May. <laughs> but you know what they're called the big red one. Yes. <laughs> the big dead one. The big dead one now. But. This was the slaughter field. This was where all the action happened. Yeah, and that was exactly what we set up because this is this is exactly how it would have been. Yeah. The the uh, the enemy or the Germans, the, one of the sides, yeah, would have had a field with a pretty clear line of sight, and they would set up their light machine gun and cover that area. Yes, a field of fire. Yeah, while the rest of the rifle guys were covering the flanks. So we prayed that played that pretty much historically and I also think the way we did it with the light machine gun laying down suppressive fire we got two fire teams moving up on each flank yeah and the uh, the officer hiding in the middle <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty pretty good what we did there yes I think so but uh, yeah and it was really fun playing a large-scale really battle fun and there's so much you have to look out for and that you can shift you know these guys on that side can shoot over on these guys yeah because there really changes were some the, really the, the game. good line of sights on, uh, across the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so cool, very and cool. I don't know how long this video is. It's probably quite long because we've done a lot of talking, but the game wasn't really that long. No, it's it was on 20 rounds or something. <laughs> no, but it, it's it, we've been talking a lot, we've been explaining and yeah. blah blah blah. But you know, it's the first time we do it, so of course we have to discuss and talk. And yeah. And before you guys go on and tell us that this w the mission wasn't balanced at all, we tried to balance it by having a 40, 40 point difference on 40 the teams. points. It was 113 points of uh, US versus uh, 25 points of Nazis. 25 or 75? Uh, 75, 75. Yeah. Yes, 75, 25. <laughs> 75 points 75 of Germans. 75 points of Germans, 113 big red ones. Yes. Yes. And that has been Sven. That has been uh, Martin. And together we are the film crew at Tabletop Battle. Yes, and in the end it proves a forest 
too big. <laughs> no, a forest too far. <laughs>